Thank you for tuning into this one. It's a little bit of self-revelation. Normally, I don't talk so much about myself. I mean, I do, but I don't. And so today, I really want to share with you what is my evolutionary and quantum leap, what is coming to an end in my life, what is the end of my cycle, what is the end of my Piscean age, if you wish, and any other cycles, and where am I going? Now, I have to admit, and I, I'm happy to be vulnerable, honesty is not something difficult for me, and yet, we don't need to share everything. But yes, I want to share this with you. For most of my life, I've lived in comfort. I lived in the comfort of what I thought that I knew, says the man of the heart. What, even if it was magic, um, I stuck in a way to the things that were easy because maybe I, I, I knew that I did it well and people told me or I had a qualification or I studied it or whatever, right? So the things that I was living in for a long time, we did sessions, I did coaching, I did a lot of shamanic and shadow work. Um, I used appreciative inquiry, emotional intelligence, transactional analysis, all these things I actually knew well and I had studied. I did integral theory and consciousness and spiral dynamics, again, because I did a lot of work in that. I did a lot of leadership because I did a lot of work in that. I did Belbin team roles. Reiki and crystals, so you see now healing and all this kind of stuff. We were teaching the Mesa Carrier and the Monaiki. Occasionally I let something else out, but at the end of last year, 2023, it was very clear that although we, we did it and it was in our comfort, yes, I played music already and all of that, but it, not to really that extent, it was very clear that it was the end of a cycle. Not only because, it sounds funny now, but I'm gonna tell you just the way I feel. Not only because we didn't have the abundance of clients that we once had, but also because it didn't resonate so much anymore and because it's time to let it go. So what is that new space? We have already begun and, and I, I couldn't really, how should I say, when you make an evolutionary and quantum leap, it is a choice, but at the same time, it's not a choice because your heart, your spirit, your soul just put you right there. To teach was also very important for us for a long time, but of course in another way. And so what came out, of course, is our online program, Reconnect to the Heart. As both of us are teachers, we wanted to make sure you're not just getting a program and then we finish it, we wanted to make sure it had enough interaction that you can actually complete it. So we did it that way. And it's a true synergy and collaboration of both of us, Anna Cecilia and myself. Meaning she took care of a lot of the technical side. She made sure that it could go on the website and actually is fully accessible for you to use. I allowed spirit to give me the content for the videos often to my surprise uh, we both re uh, recorded the meditations together and we are both responsible for the teaching method the, the heart sync so that you get the opportunity to do assignments without ticks and clicks but with actually sharing your experience that comes from the different modules and the videos in each module and the meditation, what it really does to you. And we give you a personal feedback. We also have a group where we are all together and we have gatherings. And so that is one of the first things and believe it or not, it wasn't actually easy. It took a quantum leap. So I know that often we are in the comfort, stuck in the comfort that we think that we know and we don't really do what we truly love. And I also got a, a sweater that says, 
move for what you truly love. So it's, it's really, really interesting. It doesn't mean I have forgotten all the other stuff that I have learned and once done, and they're still very important. Some are fertilizers, and some are still very, very relevant, and some have gone through a transformation. So it's just like that. So one is the online program, Reconnect to the Heart. We're very excited. It's working. As you know, technically, it sometimes takes a little bit of time. The first one is on, and we're very welcome to welcome you. The second part we dared is actually to do retreats. Yes, we have done retreats, often with one or with two, but it feels like it's, it's a mm, formalization of retreats. So one retreat we do in collaboration in Jamaica end of May, and that is with two other beautiful, beautiful beings, two women, and it's evolutionary leadership, and it's, it's quite something. Took a lot of organization. Again, Anna Cecilia made the beautiful, uh, the beautiful pictures, the promotional side, the informational side. Uh, Liz was very, very available for the local part, but also for the links in order to book and all this kind of stuff. And everybody was just chipping in to make that something very extraordinary. The second part or the second uh, retreat that we're offering is Rekindle Your Heart Fire. That's a whole story of its own and that shows that quantum leap. The heart fire was actually always important for me, but I put it way back because it's very original. Um, I, I didn't have the whole story anyway, but when I connected when, with Kim Kindersley through the Congress on Whales and Dolphins that we have been invited to do with a beautiful German lady, Liz as well, uh, we were connected to Kim Kindersley and he is the filmmaker of Whale dreamers and he was sharing there that the in one aboriginal language there's one word for the fire and the heart and that inspired me and this is when i knew i had to do that and so rekindle your heart fire is that retreat four days for participants or for couples so it can be very specific for couples and in different locations we don't know the locations yet. We know we're gonna kick it off here in Lamas in Peru, where we are. We know we take it to Jamaica because we will be in Jamaica anyway for the evolutionary leadership. We know we take it to Europe because we know we're going to Europe. We are already in contact with a local collaborator in Ibiza, but I feel very strongly also Iceland and whatever place you call us. And it was very important for us that it is truly original and different. So not only going on a retreat, having an amazing experience, but actually integrating. So there's four more points there. And again, Ceci is creating amazing visuals that also go on the website and you can go on the list. We call it waiting list at the moment as we're trying to get four people in, in these different locations. And from there, there's a 33 days integration where we still work together. There's one masterclass included, but you will have integration assignments for the lack of a better word, because I don't really know. The, but it's an integration assignment for each part that you have experience. And of course, we give you personal feedback. So this is the big thing. If you ask me, this is possibly the dream I've been dreaming into being, to do this kind of thing. And it's all about the heart. It's about being a heart bridge. And as you have heard in my other videos that come out recently, it's all about being that bridge into the heart to live from the heart. It's not about continuing the separation, living in um, La La Land, spiritual La La Land or spiritual bypassing, but truly being here and truly integrating and living this infinite and boundless self in this human experience as homo luminous and also in new earth. So yes, this is, this is the new 2020, 20, 2024 version of the Sonic Songkos. 
and yes music keeps on playing a word a, a role a big role because there's the, the meditations but there's also the music the album that we have already recorded not considering to record another album right now but the sound activations are very important and initiation so a lot of um, keys and codes for activations and initiations and also seeds and of course vibes they actually come through our music so the music keeps on playing a huge huge role and we also have decided to kind of keep the not keep renew the the, the private area that we're doing one-on-one -on -one with sound bud and sound bridge you will maybe have read about it and saw something about it. Yes, we continue doing that because we feel this is very, very important. Of course, a sound bridge on its own can be an experience, but as we get to know each other, maybe we can figure out where that takes you. So this is the evolutionary leap and quantum leap of Sonic Song Course. Yes, we also have other retreats like silent retreats, when you have some particular situations in your life we can do two three days of retreat and then 30 days of integration yes i am open to do retreats and sessions also in spanish not videos but i can talk to you in spanish and of course also in german so while the focus is on reconnect to the heart our program that we are really actively involved in during your uh, time and to your graduation is also a week of surprises after you are in, uh, in the graduation on its own and of course where to take it from there the two retreats is our focus in between we do the sound bath the whale story is coming up and i'm sure we're gonna take that into something beautiful too following the dream following the heart fire to truly deliver what is needed at this time and what we are guided and learning not to doubt and learning to trust and learning to be patient so this is our evolutionary and quantum leap here at sonic song calls in son calls worlds sending you much love and can't wait to hear from you please write in the comments what you feel about this and how we can do this together and how we can support you on your journey how we can be a heart bridge for you and so much more see you soon take care from my heart to yours of course i put the links in the in the in the description so you can easily access all that i have